The economic recession and high prices in supermarkets. In Russia, more and more low-income residents are forced to buy expired products. We even bought sausage and meat, and now we have to save money. Chelyabinsk residents say that supermarket food prices have doubled. This has led to the fact that the best-selling products in stores are expired. Written primarily for animals and some come and take for themselves, pensioners. After the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the economy of the Federation faced an unprecedented wave of international sanctions. This has led to a sharp rise in prices in the country. In January, the Ministry of Finance of the Russian Federation for the first time began to salt gold from National Wealth Fund to cover the sharply increased budget deficit. The agency itself announced this. In total, 3.6 tons of gold were sold. Russia's budget deficit in January amounted to 1.76 trillion rubles. Budget expenditures increased by 59 percent, up to 3.117 trillion rubles. Revenues amounted to 1.356 trillion rubles, which is 35 percent less than in January 2022. The sharp increase in the budget deficit in the Ministry of Finance was explained by a five-fold increase in public procurement spending as well as a decrease in oil and gas revenues to 426 billion rubles, which is 46 percent less than in January last year, from the official report of the Ministry of Finance of the Russian Federation. Sanctions restrictions on the Russian oil refining industry in January 2023 cost the Kremlin 8 billion euros. The average price of Ural's oil in the first month of the year was 46.8 US dollars per barrel, which is $35 less than a year ago, Bloomberg reports, citing data from the Russian Ministry of Finance. To remind, on February 5th, a ban on the supply of Russian oil products came into force in the European Union. And since December 5th, 2022, an embargo on Russian oil supplies to the EU has been in effect. The European Union The European Union is going to impose sanctions on February 5th and no longer accept refined Russian products. They have already stopped accepting any crude oil in Europe since December. There were, you know, several million barrels of diesel fuel a day that came from Russia and they are giving up on all of that. According to analysts at the Helsinki Center for Energy and Clean Air Research, the European ban on Russian oil imports and the price cap imposed by Western countries countries cost Russia 160 million euros daily. Price caps on Russian oil have achieved the objectives of both stabilizing oil markets and reducing Moscow's revenues from oil and gas exports. Russia's revenues likely fell by nearly 30 percent in January, or about 8 billion US dollars compared with the year before. Fatih Birol, head of the International Energy Agency, in a comment for Reuters. Russia's budget revenues are no longer sufficient to finance all expenditures, and this means that the reserve will continue to be used. Now the National Wealth Fund, this is the main budgetary reserve of Russia, is about 11 trillion rubles. If the economic situation does not worsen, this money will be enough for two or three years, experts say. The situation with the volume of the National Welfare Fund will directly depend on how long the military conflict will continue, on what conditions it will be ended, as well as on prices and demand for Russian hydrocarbons. From a strategic asset, the fund has become rather a source of urgent patching of budget holes. Alexandra Osmovsky-Suslina, economist, in an interview with the BBC Russia. According to analysts, spending in Russia will be reduced in those areas that do not relate to defense and national security. It is likely that education, medicine, culture and social programs will suffer the most from budget cuts. Reported by Roman Smoller, Natalia Husak, UATV News.